Hello and welcome. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to create document templates using a PDF file. Document templates are .fodt files. FODT is an open document format using XML markup. Such files can be created using LibreOffice Writer software. It's a free and open source office suite. It's an open source alternative to Microsoft Office. LibreOffice works on Windows, OS X and Linux platforms. You will need to install LibreOffice on your computer to create the document templates. To convert a PDF into a document template, we need to convert each page of the PDF file into its own image file. The image can be a PNG or a JPEG. We will use these images as backgrounds to each page of the document template. You can do this on any computer using a free website pdf2image.com or you can use a specific software. On Linux, I use a command line utility called as pdf2ppm. This wikihow.com page provides more information for related software on Windows and Mac OS X. Here is a PDF file which I want to convert into a document template. This is a form from a leading bank in India which is used to transfer money from your account to the recipients. As you may have guessed, this form would need information about your account, the recipient's account and the amount which needs to be transferred. Let us now extract the image from this PDF file. Let us now create a document template using the extracted image. For this, open up LibreOffice and create a blank LibreWriter document. We will import the image as a background to the first page of the document. Go to Format page and click on the Area tab. This tab allows you to set up a background for this page. You can set up the background as a color, gradient, bitmap image, pattern or hatch or you can choose not to have any background. Click on the bitmap button. Here we will set up the image as background to the page. To load our extracted image, click on the add import button. This will bring up a file selector. Select the extracted image. Set the style option as stretched and click apply. The image is now a background to the page. You would have noticed by now that the image doesn't completely cover the page. It has margins all around it. We need to remove them. Click on the page tab and set the left, right, top and bottom margins to zero. Apply your changes. Now your page has the background image set up correctly. If your PDF file has multiple pages, and hence multiple images, you will need to create corresponding pages in your document template. Follow the same process for setting up backgrounds for each of the document template page. Now that we have set up the image as background to the page, we need to add text boxes at various locations on the page. A text box is similar to a text field, usually found on a web form. It holds text information. This is the text that will get updated when we are creating the actual documents. The replacement text is fed via a web form. More on this a bit later. Now let us add a text box for the beneficial name. To do that, go to insert and click on text box. Notice that your cursor has changed to a crosshair. This indicates that you need to select an area for the text box. I'll select the area where the beneficiary name would be inputted. I'll enter a placeholder name in here. Let's call it beneficiary name. 
To change the styles for this placeholder text, double click on the text. Now let me adjust the size for this text. We can move the text box by clicking on it and dragging it. I usually like to select the wrapping option for the text box to page wrap. This helps me to easily move the text box. To create other text boxes, let's copy and paste this text box. You will get a duplicate text box for beneficiary name. Let's move it and use it for beneficiary account number. Let's change the placeholder text to beneficiary account number. There is another location on the form where we need to use the beneficiary account number. Let's copy and paste this text box and move it to the desired location. Notice both the text boxes have the same placeholder name. You need to follow this convention when you need to use the same text at more than one location on any page. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added all the text boxes. Now our template is complete and ready to be used.